The other big story we're following this evening, parents throughout California keeping their kids home from school today, and some teachers also didn't show up to class. All part of a walkout to protest Governor Newsom's planned COVID vaccine mandates for students. In KPX 5's Juliet Goodrich is live in Livermore. Hey, Jules, with uh, more on the protests. Hi, Brian. You know, it wasn't that long ago here at district headquarters that you had parents and students in this very parking lot protesting to get back into the classroom during distance learning. Well, fast forward today, and some of those parents took their kids out of school today to protest the COVID-19 vaccine mandate. So for this session, we have Tracy. We are here at the state capitol protesting the vaccine mandate. Nobella Baba of Livermore kept her daughters out of school today and headed to the state capitol to join others in a protest over the COVID-19 vaccine mandate for kids K through 12. I am not anti-vaccine, I am anti-mandate. Last year, she and other parents were very vocal about getting their kids back into the classroom during distance learning. But today, she says it's about protecting children. And I will not bow down to government telling me what I should and should not put into my children's system. In Santa Rosa, crowds gathered outside district offices. This is not about the vaccine. This is about taking away my choice. The mandate would make California the first state in the nation to require K through 12 kids to be vaccinated. Governor Gavin Newsom said the state already requires that students are vaccinated against viruses that cause measles, mumps, and rubella. He says there's no reason why we wouldn't do the same for COVID-19. The FDA, when they fully approve something, they go through months of data. They, they really are about safety. And so I want parents to feel comfortable when the FDA fully approves this, that this is safe for their children. For my child, the risks don't outweigh the benefits for me. Kayla Atwell also joined the protest by keeping her daughter Stella home from fourth grade today. She says the COVID-19 vaccine for kids should be a parent's choice. It hasn't been around long enough for me to feel comfortable with putting something in my daughter's body that I honestly, we all don't know how that's going to affect anyone long term. Jules, how did the uh, student walkout affect attendance today? I mean, did many take part or just a few? You know, we don't have the statewide numbers, but for example, here in Livermore, I did reach out to the district and they said really it was class as usual today. They did give me a percentage. They said last Monday they had 92% attendance. Today they had 88%. Ah, okay, well, in, uh, in Livermore, that's Juliet Goodrich. Jules, thanks. We did want to talk with the governor or somebody from his office about the protests, including this one in Napa. And we were pointed to a statement instead which said vaccines are how we end this pandemic. And the state already requires a range of vaccines for a number of viruses, and COVID should be added to that list.